Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. The things don't look uh, rosy for uh, the Ukrainian uh, army or the defenders of Ukraine. Um, that's according to their reporting. So uh, that's very concerning. If the Ukrainians uh, say that they're not doing well, uh, you can imagine uh, what the situation really is. And if the Ukrainians said that uh, the Russian military advances on five directions, that means uh, that's not a good sign whatsoever. Probably they're advancing in seven directions and on seven directions and gaining territory. Remember, this comes from the Ukrainian side, not from the Russian side. Now, uh, from previous experience, uh, I learned that Ukraine uh, does or comes up with this kind of uh, articles and statements just to mold uh, 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 the Western's uh, civilians, you know, sympathy to send more, uh, to agree to send more weapons, like it's an urgency. Uh, their overwhelming um, uh, attack will destroy us. If they destroy us, you will be next. That's how the story we're supposed to uh, ingest. Uh, and we are, because we are free people and uh, freedom of thought and freedom of speech is guaranteed in the good countries. Okay, enough bullshit, let's move on. Here, this article comes from the New Voice of Ukraine from February 24th, 2023. Is this the big offensive now? Now, Russian troops advance on five directions. Ukrainian army repels about 100 attacks. Nice American-made uh, um, pickup truck. Ukrainian defenders repel about 100 attacks by the Russian invaders. Ukrainian defenders. Okay, now they give us a uh, state or status of what's going on. An update. I have here uh, the map provided by the Russians. Uh, why I choose this? It's uh, it has uh, Russian bullets here, uh, and uh, you can access them, and you can click on them, and they give you whatever they want to give you information on certain situation. Now, unfortunately, this is a yesterday. Uh, situation from a map but I'm using this just so you know um, the regions and who's who what's what uh, the Ukrainians usually start uh, talking about the um, update update giving their update starting from here Chernihiv Chernigov by the Russians then Chernihov uh, um, Oblast and they go down here down here to the east Sumy then they go to Kharkiv and then they go here to uh, Luhan, Lug Luhansk Lugansk, and then Donetsk, and then Zaporozhye, and then Kherson, and that's it. Sometimes they go to uh, Crimea, but nothing. So when I'm going to read all this article, I'm going to start from here. All right. Okay, got a deal. In the oops, I don't want that. She's too fat for me. All right, and um, we have this in the Volin Polisia, Siversk, and Sloboda directions of the front in the north. And east of Ukraine, no signs of the formation of combat offensive groups were observed. Russian troops shelled with mortars and artillery the settlements of, and they gave us uh, a lot of them, in Chernihiv. As I said, Chernihiv is a Chernikhov, the Russian, right here. Oblast. And then some other about uh, in Sumy. So in this oblast, it was uh, um, shells and... Uh, shell with mortars and artilleries. That's all what it was. And then 20, and over 22 districts of settlements in Kharkiv Oblast. So all they say is these three oblasts, one, two, three, the Russians just use uh, artillery to shell these areas. No uh, offensive or any grouping of any kind. Now it says here that enemy aircraft also launch attacks on Dvorchnye and Ohir Seven. In the Kupiansk and Liman areas, the failed offensive actions near the settlements of Stelmakivka, Dibrova, Bilohorivka, Fedorivka, and Rozdolivka. They shelled over 20 settlements, including Pam 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 Pam. All that is in Kharkiv Oblast. And then um, some more here in Luhansk. And the enemy launched aircraft attacks near in Kharkiv Oblast, as well as near Serebriansky Forestry and 
bilo horivka in Luhansk oblast, spirnje in sako i veceti in Donetsk oblast were also damaged. The occupiers used six barrage munitions of the lancet types, type in the area. So here is just uh, that the Kupiansk and Liman areas, uh, the offensive uh, failed. So the Kupiansk and Liman are in this area here, this area. And the rest is just, uh, just you know, mortar attacks and uh, artillery shelling. In the Bakhmut direction of the front, here is the, the Russians call it uh, Ar Ar Armetovsk right here. So they talk about this, that, that was yesterday. So it says that the fighting is taking place near the city center. I saw an article where they said that uh, they are about uh, 300 meters away from uh, the center. That was the Wagner Group reporting, so we can't believe them because they are bad dudes. So in the Bakhmut direction, a section of the front, the enemy failed attacks, attack actions on the positions of Ukraine defenders near the settlements of Zelezniatskie, Ivanitskie, Shasiv Yar, Dilivka, Vaslivska, Ber Berkivka, and Bakhmut itself. More than 20 settlements came under fire, including Zeleniatskie, Berkivka, Bakhmut, Ivanitskie, Shasir Yar, Kurdium, Bababam, Bibubum, Bababam, in Donetsk Oblast. So they tried in the, this area where you see the, uh, the automatic weapons, the Kalashnikovs here, this is where the face-to-face uh, -face troops uh, meetings or <laughs> attacks or encounters uh, where you see them, bam, bam, the black one, this is where the offensive actually occurs. And here is Ugledar, Vuhledar, Avdivka, and I'm assuming the, the next uh, section here, paragraph is gonna be about that right here. In the Avdivka, Shakhtarsk section of the front, Russian troops went on offensive uh, but failed. Over 25 districts of settlements came under fire and all that in the Donetsk Oblast. Donetsk is the one with Avdiv right here, Donetsk. All right, now, in the Zaporozhye section of the front, the enemy shelled the areas around, oh, I don't know, like 20, uh, 20 settlements here in the Dnipropetrovsk Oblast. So they even... Uh, shelled the Zaporozhye Oblast and the Dnipropetrovsk Oblast. So let's see where those guys are. So this is Zaporozhye right here and north of it is the Dnipropetrovsk right here. So this is the, uh, the Russians shelled here and shelled here. If you look on the Russian map nothing on these two but this is from yesterday as I said. I just used this so uh, for visual um, reasons so uh, we can see who's who, what's what and where. And this is the, the Ukrainians reporting. In the Kherson section of the front, which is down south, they give us um, uh, eight settlements and Kherson itself were damaged by artillery fire by Russian invasion forces among the others. So that's with that and Kherson is right here. Kherson uh, Oblast is in this area and the Kherson, the town, the city. Come on, work with me. Uh, if not, I will make you. It's right here. Uh, yesterday, the uh, Russians reported that uh, Verba Manpa Manpads unit shot down a Ukrainian Suhoi 25 aircraft dispatched to shell Novaya Kakovka. All right, so this is according to, to the Russians, this is Novaya Kakovka, so they shot it here, trying to go here. Let's see what happened here. Ukrainian forces struck the city civilian infrastructure using artillery. All right, so that would be the, that would conclude the little um, summary of the Ukrainian front according to the Ukrainians. And I'm going to make another video probably later in the evening with the update coming from both of them because the Russians uh, give one update and it's usually in the midday and then the other one midday here in uh, the good countries, the United States of America and the Western uh, world, hoo -hoo. and uh, which is evening over there. And the Ukrainians give two updates, one in the morning about 6 o'clock a.m. Uh, Kiev time and that for the past 24 hours and then at the 7, between 7 and 8 p.m. Kiev time uh, the, the, for the day. 
So, thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth, and be just.